Today we're going to be showing you how to take a second hand old piece of wood that really doesn't look like anything and turn it into something rusted metal, pretty slick, very contemporary and what's it going to cost you? Not too much. What you're going to need? You're going to need some sandpaper or a power sander, Modo Universal Undercoat, Dulux Matte Black PVA, Fired Earth Liquid Rust, Fired Earth Rapid Rust Agent, Plascon Paint Effects Water Based Glaze Coat and the tools that you'll need is a paintbrush and a paint pot if you really need to. Our first step today is to take our frame. Now let's talk a bit about the frame. This frame is an old frame that we found. Literally we just put a new piece of glass inside it or a mirror. Um, but you know what, if you wanted to get this effect and you couldn't find a second hand frame, you can simply go and buy a cheap pine frame from your local builders, take the frame and you could then insert a mirror into it like we have um, and then you can go about the whole process. Because this is a second hand one that's been lying around, it really does need a bit of work on it. If it was a new one, of course, it's not going to need as much work. But the first thing we want to do is we want to get a electrical sander. This is a great little guy. It's got a battery attached to here, a lithium battery, and this thing works for hours. Of course, if you didn't have one of these gadgets, you can always just use a sanding block. And the sanding blocks work as well. Of course, they just take a little bit longer. And and all you're going to do is start off with quite a rough grit to get off all the really hard, tardy bits off. And because we've even got a bit of paint left on here and a bit of glue, we need to get all that off so that we can prepare it for our undercoat. So let's get going. You can actually see a couple of turns already and we're already taking off this leftover paint that's been left here. There's one really important thing about DIY. Get your preparation done. Get everything ready. Make sure that you've charged this baby. Preferably have another battery that's on charge. So if you do run out, ah, it's not the end of the world. This guy over here works just as well. And do it in steps, you know. Don't try and do the whole thing all in one go because this exact project requires some time. And you're going to need a couple of hours. Put aside Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and within a couple of weeks, you'll have your desired project. Get out the big guns. So the really important thing about these guys is that A, it's cordless. So it doesn't have any cords, extension cords. Where is the extension cord? Do I even have one? It makes life a whole lot easier. The other cool thing is that you get these little grit pads that literally stick on with Velcro. Really plain and simple. And with them, when you buy them in the packs, you get the finish, you get one as a, as a rough sander to be able to remove it. So all your different applications from an 80 grit to 100, even to a 40 grit, you can buy them. You can keep them, they last, and then you simply just apply whatever grit you're wanting on here. Make sure it's stuck down nicely, and away you go. Right, from when we started out, guys, this is now smooth. Really nice, we've taken off all the excess glue that was left on here, the bits of paint, and that's what's important. Always take a paintbrush and just get all the dust off because remember, dust and paint doesn't go well. It's just gonna literally flake off. So our next step, and if you had a new window frame that you just got from builders, then you would literally be at the step when you start. You would do a light sanding just to even it off and to get any splinters off and then we're going to start with this point. Now this point is where we apply the universal undercoat. Um, the universal undercoat really is very important. Don't think that you can skip this step, okay, because this is the base of it, the glue that holds it all together. Right, so just take a bit of your universal undercoat and there we go, pop it on. Really easy. A couple of things to remember when you're applying paint, try and apply it in the same brush strokes, not this way, that way. Um, get it on. You don't have to be Picasso or Van Gogh to get this part right. And that's the good thing about the projects that we show you. So once it's all on, allow it to dry and then I'll take you through the next step. Step two, once the undercoat is dry, you're going to apply two coats of the black PVA. 
always allowing it to dry in between your coats. When we got to that point, this is where we really start working the magic. And this is where we're using this good stuff, which is called Fired Earth Liquid Rust. And this literally is liquid rust. It's kind of a gelatinous looking stuff. Get a little stirrer, give it a good once over, all right, using a paintbrush. And this you're going to apply two coats of it, all right? Two coats of the liquid rust, put it on, allow it to dry in between the coats. So I'm gonna put the first coat on and then I'm gonna catch up with you on the second coat and show you the next step. All right, folks, this is my second coat that I'm applying. And now we come to the fun part. When that is still damp, what you wanna do is get hold of this guy over here. This is called the liquid rust agent. This is really where it starts the chemical reaction that causes the rust look that we're wanting. Now, if you're working on a large surface, you can use it directly out of this bottle. You can spray it in, but because I'm working on an intricate surface and I don't really wanna waste it, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it up, decant it into a little bottle so that I'm not wasting all of my special agent. All right. Greeny looking awesome stuff, take it and you just simply start applying it. And literally this reaction happens quite quickly. The longer you leave it, the more you're gonna see the reaction and you can put the stuff on. Once you've left it for about a week and you're not happy with how much rust you've seen, you just add more, all right? And then you just get more of that awesome reaction. So a bit of this all the way along and then you be patient and you wait and see because you're going to end up with the most amazing rust effect that you're going to see along here. Isn't it great? All right, folks, our final step in this process, you can see the beautiful rust effect that has taken place here. We're creating a garden mirror and it's going to be outside. So in order to protect it, we're going to be using this Pascon Paint FX water-based glaze coat. Don't miss this out because it's the most important one. All you're going to do is take a bit of this, apply it as a liberal layer, over your rust effect and all that's going to do is protect it, stop it from deteriorating out in the elements and you're good to go. Remember this rust effect you can use on anything, an old table, an old window box, you can really go wild. You've bought the product, get creative and you could even make a mirror like this for your garden. Why do we want mirrors in the garden? Well, it extends the space, makes your garden seem bigger. Enjoy. Remember all these products that we've used today, paintbrushes, right down to the sanding tools, and all the rust effects are available from your local builders. So get on down there and let one of the friendly guys help you out. <laughs>